Tattooing and airbrushing go hand in hand. That's why Pelkas probably sent me this airbrush kit. Let's try it out today on the Floaty Channel along with this ventilation hood I bought on Amazon. Don't forget, we're gonna paint Mr. Meow Meow. Okay, let's open the Pelkas Auto Airbrush. with the Manuel. Whoa! Okay. We're gonna read about what that is. Looks like a pretty cool like portable system or something. Got some kind of a nozzle here. Connection. Bag of wires. USB-C, and of course, the airbrush itself looks like some accessories, cleaning, wires, some kind of plunger, and a little tiny tool, some bands. All right, we got this cord on here. And I guess it just blows some air through there. Oh, it's pressurized, right? We've got P P one, two, three, four, probably presets. Now this is sold separately, um, did not come with this kit, but it is a lovely addition. Obviously it's holding this nicely, so it's great just to hold onto that machine, especially with the open cup at the top. Um, it also uh, is a container for uh, your wash, so you can spray it through. It has a filter there in the top that is replaceable, I believe. And link in the description below for that one as well. I also picked up some paint. Today we're gonna to be using this uh, Createx airbrush color. This is a water-based acrylic airbrush paint. I also picked up uh, this uh, US Art Supply airbrush colors, water-based uh, acrylic extender. Uh, which actually will help extend the color a bit and help it run through the machine a bit better. All right, let's do a little test spot here. Okay, I'm going to talk loudly over the fan as I try this out now. On Mr. Meow Meow. Now for cleaning this machine. The machine's a little slower, so I'm gonna dump this out first. Excess paint here. The portable airbrush kit does work. It is compact, 
which is awesome. This battery is not going to be as strong as a full size air compressor, of course, but uh, it served its purpose and we got the white on that Mr. Meow Meow. Now we just got to clean this thing off. So first let's put some cleaner into it. Cleaner does come separately. I'll put a link in the description below. So you can hear the different P's have different pressure settings. So the P4 is the highest. Let me turn on the P4 is still taking a little bit of time to cycle the cleaner through. At 33% now for my battery. Got the cup pretty clean. Screwing off the tail of the brush here. And then we're just gonna loosen this needle. Don't move it all the way, just loosen. That's gonna loosen the needle. Slide that out. And you'll notice some paint on there. You can also now take a swab to the front the needle out makes it easier to access that area get more of that white paint out of there hardest part about airbrushing is resetting the airbrush for the next color so this is always this challenging so far this has been an easy system so we are going to put the needle back in firmly in place. Tighten this. Not going to go too hard. And tighten this. Not going to over tighten it. Okay, then we can add some of that primer. warm-up fluid, as I call it. There we go. Something cleared through the line, and now we are emptying, and we are ready for the next color. I still see a little bit of white in there, but I think we did the best we could. And maybe that'll just cycle through. Could try a little more. Poke around in there. Should be good though. Okay, let's try another color. We're at 28%. And that cat's probably gonna have some black in it, I would think. Shake her up. And move on to black. All right, let's bring back Mr. Meow Meow. Okay. Mr. Meow Meow is dry. 
Here's all white, and now we're going for black. All right, let's try out the Pelkis airbrush. I've got black, and we're at 28% on this battery. Now that he's white and I'm applying black, you should be able to see a little better. As you can see, Mr. Meow Meow is now black. We have a great base coat here. I'm gonna let this dry really, really well. I want to be able to paint on the surface of this. Uh, from here on, I prefer hand painting. Um, if I add any more airbrush, uh, it will be at a later point once this has had some time to dry. Just wanna make sure it's really dry so I can keep adding more coats. As you can see, the Pelkis airbrush works great for small miniatures. I did notice that the battery works best um, in the highest setting if you're trying to get a lot of paint out. If you're just doing small details, I'd imagine the other settings work just fine and this would actually be ideal for small scale models considering how much control you have um, in those lower settings so you don't end up with too much paint on the model surface and you can do more layering which is the best way to get the three-dimensionality and the texture that you want through the airbrush effect Mr. Meow, meow. okay all is said and done and i still have 23 percent left on the airbrush compressor battery. First time I've ever used that system and it worked awesome. The Pelkas is definitely worth checking out. If you're doing a lot of small scale model painting, you're definitely gonna wanna pick up one of these hood and uh, maybe a variety of what you see here today. So don't forget, if you wanna support my channel, you'll follow a link in the description below to find the thing that you want. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Thank you, man.